Hey guys, Adam and Shaw here. Um, tomorrow night is uh, they've got a huge one FC event. Um, Super Bond and Chingis Alazov are uh, headlining, um, and then on the rest of the card they've got like Stamp Fairtex versus Nissan Mexen. Uh, Super let Kiat Mugao's on. Who else I write down? Um, yeah, uh, Johnny Nunes is also on the same card. Who uh, he was on the Ultimate Fighter a while ago. He's he's one that he seems to have like gone under the radar a little bit, but uh, I think he might be one to watch. Um, but this fight that I'm going to show you now is Super Bond's most recent fight. Uh, they say that you can only judge a fighter by his last fight so um, this is actually a rematch um, against Marat uh, Grigorian um, Grigorian knocks him out in 2018 he actually dealt uh, Superbon his last loss um, with the first round knockout he knocked him out in about 30 seconds um, so this is a rematch um, uh, the, 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 this is Superbon this Superbon wins this uh, spoiler alert but uh, he this is his 12th win in a row uh, since his loss against him. So, um, be a good one to watch. So, here we go. I'm sorry, I'll just put that back in a second. Going at it quite quick. Um, I mean, Superbon is obviously, you know, uh, brilliant. I mean, Mario Gregorian too. Um, if you've got any, like, real criticism for Superbon, I mean, he, he's so technically perfect. Um, that you know, sometimes guys like that they they don't like it when you really take a fight to them. Um, I think that's probably what happened in the first fight. I, I haven't watched this rematch, so um, it's been interesting for me too. I mean, you can see Marek Gregorian just really like trying to get into a fight straight away. Superman trying to keep it long. <laughs> Um, yeah, Superbon. I, I think he's. I don't know if him and Borka are still train together very much, but he's still Superbon Ban Um And you, you see a lot of Superbon training with Trainer Gay. They've got some great videos. Superbon's even got his own channel where he talks about his fight, so um, it's definitely worth checking that out. I mean, Superbon's last three fights were uh, City Chai, uh, Giorgio Petrosian, then he got that epic knockout, and then this one being his, his last of, the, of the, his most recent fight. Yeah. So you can kind of tell Superbon doesn't want to let him like really get close enough to punch him, so he doesn't want to be in that range. So what, what he's doing is keeping him away, and then those times when... Uh, Gregorian does come a bit closer. He'll just grab hold of him and clinch. Um, but he's doing a good job of trying to keep it long. I mean, Gregorian's a like savage puncher. Oh, beautiful kick there across the body. Yeah, I mean, look at Gregorian's leg already. I mean. It, so one thing that you can do with a good puncher like him is just take the legs away from him and it just means that they can't come forward anymore well they can't be as explosive with their shots um I, i've got a feeling that what you'll see super bond do is like start to like you know attack that that right leg and um, his lead leg and then i imagine he'll start to work the uh, across the uh, the right arm of gregorian just to slow that down as well I mean, that, those kicks will really start to take their toll. I mean, like you can see it already. Oh, nice. I'd say that round was a clear win for uh, Superbon, even though he was fighting on the back foot. He was definitely throwing the more significant strikes. Yeah, I mean, if you were in Superbond's corner, you'd be fairly comfortable with what you're seeing. I think Gregorian's corner will probably tell him to let, like, you know, start to open up a little bit now. He, uh, 
Yeah, he, he's standing in front of Superbond just a little bit too much. I think he was... He, like, if you were going to be going it against Superbond, you'd be really trying to kind of like be a bit lighter on your toes. Uh, he's really comfortable fighting on his back foot, so sometimes when you fight someone like that, a good thing to do is get them to, to come after you a little bit. So uh, maybe throw a few cut like a combination and then get back out again so that he has to work to catch you. I mean, standing in front of him and taking those low kicks, it's like it, I mean, it's gonna get you. It was a wicked combination. Superbond got out of the way pretty safely though. You can see Gregorian's trying to put the pressure on him. I think that, that his corner did say, come on now. I mean, the Super Bond's just so technically sound. He, he doesn't need to brawl, you know. Uh, it, when you put yourself in, in, a, like in a situation where you are brawling, it, you kind of, um, you know... Uh, you're putting yourself in harm's way a little bit you, you, when it's not always necessary. Like Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's like the classic example. Like why would you get into a fight if you don't have to? That was nice. So it's been thrown like single teeps and then that one just came back a little bit quicker than uh, Gregorian uh, like anticipated. There you go. You can see he went to do something like he lifted up his front leg to try and block it or whatever. And that's all that happened there. I mean, it's not a big score, but it's definitely one, like, now he's got to, you know, Gregorian's got to stand back up again and stuff. It's a little bit demoralising. He's not really having any success with anything that he's doing. Um, and he's an extremely capable fighter. Super One's just doing a really good job of keeping it long and, uh, you know, but to kind of doing what he wants to do. It's so part of the problem when you, uh, for, for Gregorian is... Um, in a cage, it's more difficult to trap people. I'll just pause this for one second. If you're in a cage like that, it's round, so they, they can just keep moving around like it like this. If you're in a ring and, and it has, you know, the, the corners, you can trap people in there a lot easier than you can in a, in a cage. So um, you'll find that some guys that are more experienced in the ring do kind of... Uh, they do kind of struggle if they're that kind of fighter where they bully people into the corners. Um, I mean, I haven't watched a huge amount of Gregorian, uh, so but that just from my my perspective, that might be something that he's dealing with. Maybe he spars in a ring, as uh, opposed to being in a cage. So that you know, you have to kind of uh, mix it up a little bit. Not a beer, just a sugar free soda. I think you can just see both of their game plans, and it's just whoever pulls it off better that night, really. Gregorian's obviously wanting to go forward and try and punch his lights out, Superbond's obviously wanting to keep it long. When you get those long guys, you might not always get the most exciting fights, but you'll see a good display of like control and uh, you know the, 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 just the experience and stuff. It's uh, you know it, it, it is what it is. You can get two really inexperienced guys, and they'll have like the most exciting fight of the night just because they go for it. And someone like Super Bond, it's not necessary when they've got the skills not to do that. He's, he's been caught a few times, but there's been nothing that's really got through too much. I mean, his defence is great, and then when he is getting caught with those jabs and stuff, he's, he's on the way out anyway, so... Another good round for Superbon, I think. I'm not sure if this is three or, three or five rounds. Looks like it's five. So yeah, just by, by uh, you know, from what you see with a lot of ties, you'll, you'll start seeing picking pick up the pace now in the third, fourth, and fifth rounds. Uh, next round, please stay focused. Take more water. 
Yeah, Super Bond just needs to keep doing what he's doing, really. I think uh, Marat needs to get a little bit more creative if he wants to win. <coughs> he's doing too much standing in front of him. You know, uh, you can't do that for too long when someone hits as hard as Super Bond. Those kicks are, are, are really powerful. I did a seminar with him at Bang Tao um, MMA uh, the, uh, last year, and uh, like just when he was demoing on people, you could see like the like the the crispness in his kicks. I mean, Marat, you know, you can see how, how good his boxing is. But I just feel like he's not setting it up enough. You know, he's like taking a kick to get in and then he's throwing a few punches that aren't, aren't connecting. He's a little bit too close. Oh, that was nice by Superbond there. That's it. That, so, like I said before, the, these guys that want to push forward and box, but if you're fighting or sparring against someone like that, like a good thing to do is take away their front leg. And, uh, you know, you can see he's been chopping at that, that front leg. You can see the bruising coming up. But then what he does is just put his hand out for a, an extended guard, but then just pulls his leg out just to sweep him. So let's see. There you go. So sometimes someone's really strong or maybe they've got a little bit too close. If you reach across them, so your hand goes across their guard, you can kind of pull them and do that, that same movement that he did with his leg, and you can pull them right off balance. Um... Marat was just a little bit far out, so he, he just took his leg, but yeah, it's a good one. I, I, I like to do that myself. So you can see he's shot like like I said earlier. He you can see that like he knows what Marat's weapons are. And these these body kicks are like they're, they're tiring because every time that they that they land, you have to breathe in. Um, but it's also a good way of taking away the, the threat of that right hand coming. Oh, that was <laughs> having that kick across the spine. So like those punches, Super One's defending so well that like that even with the power behind them that, that Marat has, that like that there's nothing really getting through. So he can take these shots. They've got the big gloves on, right? So it'd be different if they had MMA gloves on. But with the big gloves you, you do have that kind of that extra little bit bit of cushioning. So they'll let him it, it, like so Super One will probably let him hit him like a, a few times and then back away. And it's just Blowing Gregorian out of uh, out of steam a little bit, but you can see that the redness across his body. I imagine Gregorian's getting quite frustrated now. Um, he's tried he's tried a few different ways of getting in, and nothing seems to work. He's got a big welt across his back from where that that one kick landed. I was sparring one to the Eddie Farrell. And uh, he kicked me across the spine. <laughs> and uh, oh, it was bad. That took the wind out of me. <laughs> it's like a horrible second where you think you might have just paralysed yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I, I think that's 3 and all for, for Superbon on the rounds here. I'm not sure that so one of the things with one FC is they ha they've got so many different rule sets. So I'm not sure whether this is Muay Thai or because uh, they have Muay Thai without gloves, and they've got Muay Thai with big gloves. Uh, I think then I have kickboxing. Uh, so yeah, I should have checked. Um, but kickboxing, pretty much everything will score, whereas Muay Thai, the the scoring is you know. Uh, um, they, it, 
a lot more like uh, the kicks will score more than punches, knees to the body will score well, elbows will score well. But I think this is kickboxing, so um, you know the the things like the, you know a jab will score the same as a kick if it lands. I mean, I'd still say Super Bond's safe, but yeah, that sometimes it can cause confusion. Um, there just hasn't been any elbows, so I'm, I assume this is kickboxing rules. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Featherweight kickboxing world championship. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Bo uh, he's Super Bond's mentor. Boakai was probably one of the greatest kickboxers, but well, he is definitely one of the best kickboxers of all time, and you know, great Muay Thai fighter too, Boakai. Wow. That that little kick there. It, so when um, you see. Uh, Super One Chain with Trainer Gay. You see that he, um, they they double up on their kicks a lot. It's like sometimes two or three kicks, and a good thing to do, like for that, that, a good reason that they do that is so that you're in a when you're in a fight, you, it becomes more natural to throw these doubles, like bang bang, and uh, if you only throw single kicks, you'll only throw single kicks in in fights. So um, it, this actually. What led to his uh, knockout win over Giorgio Petrosian. He threw two uh, kicks high, and then uh, Petrosian thought that was over, and he got one more over the top and knocked him out. Um, spoilers. But yeah, so bang, bang. So yeah, you can just see that like there was no. Uh, he, he must just be super used to doing those. So that's something to practice if you are training. Um, like maybe do like if you're doing like five rounds of pads or whatever maybe get the, the last two rounds I would suggest that I, I, when I do teach classes that's something that I do is like sometimes the, the last two rounds I'll get him to double up every kick um, just to keep that like that like sharpness in, in the in the doubles it's great for Muay Thai rules just throwing kicks is quite fatiguing so the, the more that you smash them on the pads, the, the, the easier it gets. It's fatiguing a word. I think it is. I mean, you can see Super One's just stuck to what he's done in the, in the first round, really. He's mixing it up a little bit with the kicks across the body, but... Yeah, I mean, his game plans worked really well. Um, I think that his fight this weekend uh, against uh, Alazov. Uh, is it Alazov? What's his name? Yeah, Alazov. I think that'll be interesting because he's, he's another guy that's like a bit more wild. Um, but I, I haven't seen much of him. Uh, so that'll be interesting for me too. These, these knees will really be taking their toll too. So it's... It's putting Gregorian in like a funny position where he doesn't want to be on the outside, um, having to deal with with the kicks. But then, when he tries to get in, he's getting need as well. So, yeah, he just needs that extra bit of creativity. You can see that is sweep there. Um, I, mean, I would have liked to have seen a super. Bon I mean, so from here, Superbon can pull his left knee, his left leg back, and he does. So I don't understand why he chose that shot. Um, like that, I feel like a left knee or a left kick would have been more effective. But he's the he's the champ, right? So. Yeah, I mean, Superbond hasn't thrown a huge variation of attacks. He's thrown both of his side kicks. He's thrown his teep and his jab and knees. I mean, that's not a huge variation. He's not really mixing it up too much with his boxing or anything. And for a lot of guys, that's a secret to success. You get someone like Yod St. Croix that only really throws that left kick, but can mix it up with other things. Then you get someone like uh, Liam Harrison. That just His main weapons is that... that uh, left hook, but these really sharp low kicks. I mean, you can go really far just with a uh, with a couple of weapons, you know. And even the top top guys, they only do a couple of things really like it, 
uh, amazingly well. It, you know, it's not like they do everything perfect. Yeah, I mean, Gregorian is still in there, and he's still still pushing forward and trying to get a fight out of him, but. You know, Super One's in complete control here. I think Super One's comfortably ahead, so what I'd expect him to do now is to kind of take his foot off the gas and just try and control the control the cage. And just kind of work on the outside uh, jabs and teeps. Gregorian's really gonna have to try and knock him out to, to do to get anywhere with this. Gregorian was just a little bit too heavy on that on his front foot there um, for Super One to get a good sweep, but still pulled him off balance. Oh. I mean that like probably frustrating for Super One, but that, that won't score greatly. I really think Gregorian sort of ran out of ideas. Um, he's still, look how sharp his hands are. He looks as dangerous in the last round as he does in the first, doesn't he? You know, he's um, very fit. He's just been shut down so well. on him. I mean, all those shots seem to land. Well, you know, he, unfortunately, they're just, just not enough. Not enough's getting through. Super One's done this so well. Big Gregorian actually looks like the, the fresher fighter. You know, he, Superman looks like he's lost a little bit of pop in his shots. I think that it's a bit of an example why Superman hasn't really mixed it up. You, like, that wasn't a, a great shock selection there, was it? That, that right hook. Much better at keeping it long, which it, it, which would concern me uh, with the guy that he's going to fight, who who is a little bit of a, of a wild puncher. From what I've heard, like, uh, uh, like as I said, I haven't really seen much of him. I haven't seen anything of him at all, actually. I mean, the Super Bond does look tired, but he's been so ahead in, in this fight, you know. He's just had complete control, really. I think this is Gregorian's, probably his best round. He's <laughs> looking up at the time. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good fight. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it was as expected, right? Like, Super Super One's so, uh, so technically sound that it doesn't really need to get in a brawl. I think if he'd have engaged with him in a, in a fight fight, he, he would have been in trouble. Um, I'll just keep this, this guy in the background. Um, but, yeah, something that you have to do with when you fight someone like Super Bond is really make the fight dirty and, and uh, you know, get a scrap out of them. But... You've got to have the skills to do it and the creativity sometimes, and that that's what I think Marat Gregorian lacked in this fight was, I mean his conditioning and everything was all there, but he just didn't look creative enough to get in. Um, well, of course, someone like Super One's going to make it super hard. I mean, he's he is so good. 
So yeah, if you've got any fights that you want me to react to, maybe even your own fights or training videos, sparring videos, whatever. Um, just I've got my, my links in the socials. <laughs> I've got my social links in the description. Um, so yeah, just send them over and uh, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, and yeah, any questions or, or tips that you need, just leave them in the comments. And I'll speak to you soon, guys. Let's play this out, see where, uh, where he gets his hand raised. Also, make sure that you try and watch the the one of one FC card tomorrow. It looks, it, it's going to be good. There's some great fights on there. Yeah. Yeah. The only round that I think you could really give to Gregorian is maybe the last round. Yeah. It's a good fight to watch. Well done to him. All right. Speak soon, guys.